Okay, so here I have two Galaxy S5s. I have one that is uh, real and the other one is a fake. It's a copy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the uh, Antutu benchmark test to see what actual results you can get out of uh, each of these phones. Uh, first of all, because the rep, the copy, I mean, these both both of these phones are pretty much identical uh, on the outside. But let's see uh, on the inside. So I'm going to run the uh, Antutu uh, X. And this is the latest Antutu version. Basically, the phone manufacturers are not able to cheat. So we'll see how this goes. Now, this fake replica, I mean, uh, you can imagine a lot of these are going to be on Craigslist. So if you guys want to be buying phones off of Craigslist, uh, you might want to be wary because the fake one is almost pretty much identical to the real one here. I paid like $130 free shipping and the new one uh, the real genuine uh, S5 I bought from T-Mobile and I think I paid like 700 US dollars including tax. Okay so pretty much you can see which phone is already running faster. This is the real one. This is the, the fake one. Even though I did start this one a little bit, uh, about a half a second before I started this one. So I'll let this keep running. And I've used my uh, T-Mobile card in both of them. Both of these phone, uh, I can't tell the difference. They work perfectly fine. Uh, text messaging, uh, the sound quality, everything is, I mean, I cannot tell a difference. However, there's little things um, that you can tell. If you crack the back of the uh, back plate open, you know the Galaxy S5 is supposed to be uh, water resistant and dust resistant. And uh, when you pack the, when you pop the back plate, it's supposed to have like a rubber seal on it. So basically it's covering all the, uh, the insides when it gets, uh, when it's um, submerged in the water. The fake one doesn't have that rubber seal around it, but I mean that could be something they can easily do to make it look more genuine. But there's a couple of the things like uh, like this fake one here. It doesn't it has air gestures and all that, but it doesn't have the uh, fingerprint scanner. So that's uh, another downfall. But I mean, just looking at it uh, physically, it's um, I mean I would definitely fall for fall for it thinking if I wanted to buy a, a phone off Craigslist or something that it would definitely be I would definitely think it was real but now that I have both I can tell uh, it may take me a little while to figure out if it's real or genuine but at least I know now okay so the real one finishes first and wow look at that score above the HTC one and you can see how the, the average benchmark for the S5, let me try to zoom in here. They have it on the S5. And then above that is the, uh, the supposed to be number one, it's supposed to be the HTC One, the M8. Mine actually scored a little bit higher than that, 36,000, almost 37,000. And then let's see what happened here to this one. Wow. And this one scored. 17,000 so basically well 20,000 less let me go to the details so that's pretty much it this is the fake here thanks